What's going on guys, Kyrie here. Today we're going to talk about IOs, inscriptions and orders. Uh, what you should be going for, how you should be cleaning, uh, remodeling, things like this. So real quick, the top, you see there's two right here, the inscriptions and the orders. Inscriptions are your offensive ones, orders are your defensive ones. You primarily get these as well as the essences to uh, rank them up in top league and elemental realm. You can get them from other players in the exchange as well, but these are the primary ways to get them. And as you see in the top, we have inlay, enhance, remodel, and dismantle. So I'm gonna start from the bottom and work our way up, dismantle. So the proper way to dismantling doesn't sound like the right way to do it. Uh, what you want to do is, let's say, for example, uh, this order all the way at the right, I want to get rid of. I go to uh, inlay, go to my bag, go to order. You see the one order I don't have equipped. Uh, if I want to get rid of this, the proper way to do it to get the most out of it is actually to enhance it. And you enhance it to plus three because it'll uh, the amount of essence it'll take to rank it up to plus three is less than the amount that you get from uh, dismantling it at plus three. Uh, so you actually get 30-ish uh, percent more. You actually get more if you do uh, the blue and or purple ones because the conversion is a little bit better. I think it's 33% for blue, uh, somewhere around 30% for purple and about 27% extra back uh, if you do this on gold ones. Now for remodel, this is uh, re-rolling them and you have to use one of the same type to re-roll them. As far as what stats you're looking for, uh, generally, uh, let's just talk about the uh, offensive ones. There are three general builds that people kind of go for. Uh, pierce, crit, and damage increase. Uh, you can obviously try to max them all out if possible, but these are kind of the main three. And they're really good at different things. Uh, crit is best in crit damage situations. Uh, if fire, things like this. Uh, generally good if you're on even terms. Uh, for pierce, if someone has very high defense, that's kind of its point is to pierce through the defense because uh, even if you have damage increase and or uh, crit, you won't be doing as much as someone with high pierce against someone with high defense. Last uh, but not least is the damage increase. Damage increase is the uh, most general boost to your damage. But uh, as I said, you will actually deal the least amount of damage if you go against someone with high defense. Um, different uh, builds, different things. It's up to you which one you want to go for. Uh, depends on who you're fighting, who else is on your team, things like this. But those are the three general uh, builds that people are going for. If you're going to go for the uh, pierce rate build, for example, you're going to want you're going to want pierce and damage percent. Uh, what's interesting is showing you right here at this one. You can see I have two crit on this one, on this piece right here. You can have multiple of the same thing on a piece, but it's going to be different rarities. As you see, 280 for the orange, and then 200 for purple. So that really comes down to so like. At the top, I have pink, which is the highest of damage to adventures. I could also have, instead of that attack, a red damage to adventures, which will be like 2.9, I think, at this level. So for the pierce build, you obviously want pierce as your biggest number or biggest rarity, uh, whereas damage, uh, player percent, so like this one I have in pink right here, would be your second focus. Then if you're going for the crit build, it's actually probably the hardest one to build for because you need crit damage, which is the hard one to get, as well as crit. Uh, both of these numbers are important for your build, but you do have general buffs like uh, Never Miss and the Priest buff that will um, multiply your crit 
to allow you to crit easier. Now the easiest one is player damage and that it's only one stat is why it's the easiest and it, you can benefit from everything else as well. So your biggest thing is going to be player damage and then tack everything else that you can. Obviously damage percent is probably the second most important for that kind of build whereas pierce uh, your primary thing is pierce then player damage then break so you can get through the defense a little bit better now orders is kind of in a weird spot because with orders these are obviously the defensive ones and I show this one right here to show what I'm talking about uh, these are the two main stats you will want uh, for pretty much everyone some HP steal rate and damage reduction taking less damage and then that uh, pink tenacity is actually really good but at this level it's still kind of low uh, but HP steal rate mostly is a sword uh, class advancement bonus this is the primary way to get HP steal rate from anything else is either this or uh, the Thunder War skill red that will give you some HP steal rate for a set amount of time uh, this is your primary way of getting HP steal rate for other classes so a bow with HP steal rate is pretty good remember HP steal rate this is the percentage chance to trigger and then what it does is 40% uh, damage back for single target as healing or 12% for multi-target damage uh, damage reduction primary pvp stat then you can look for tenacity hp or defense depending on what you're building for your build if you have any more questions ask them down below until next time guys